Welcome to Programmable Logic Control Tutorial. For today's video, we will, I will be showing you Traffic Light Control System using PLC Simulator 2. So, let's start by adding RAM for the main control switches. By clicking the RAM icon, and it will ask, so as for the add rank coin, so we will be using binary output P0 and we will be adding normally open contact for the start switch okay, and then let's add the ready close contact for the stop switch so I will be changing the tag name for the different switches make sure guys that you tap or you select status bit that corresponds to your switches that's it and we will be adding a sub coin and a normally of contact the same status bit in our binary output Use timer on play. The constant for D file 0. The preset of 15 seconds. That's add normally of contact or the auxiliary map. With the same file B00. Another timer for the green light. So we will be using constant one, divide one with a preset of 30 seconds. And let's add another auxiliary contact with a file data D0DN, which came from which came from one and another timer a constant 2 or the file 2 with a preset of 5 seconds for the orange light and another normally open for auxiliary contact the file t one d for the receipt button for the receipt signal so this time we will be adding different rank different outputs and guys make sure that you use different status speed different outputs Avoid errors on your ladder logic tiger. So for the O00, that is for my red light, and O01 for my green light, and for O02 for my orange light. Now we will be adding oxygen. File D zero which came from from our first timer and another auxiliary contact for the green light. The file D one D from our timer two and then another auxiliary contact for the orange light. Guys, do not forget to change your switches to push buttons in the IMO manager. Simply clicking the switches and then component type, push button. 
buttons same okay, that's it check your other diagram errors and all set try same plan make sure guys that your timer is start Start the red light should be energized. And by the time that the T1 ends counting, it should be sending signal to the T2. Also, by the time that the T2 reaches reset of 30 seconds, we send a signal. And after that one, it will go back to our red line and to our timer one. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching.